Hello and welcome to the tier 2 race here, round 19? Is it 19 or 18 now? I can't remember. Uh, 18. 18, yeah. sorry, yeah, 18. Round 18 of this Season 3 Championship at Contest of Speed. We're in the United States of America. We've made it this far. The season's coming towards a dramatic conclusion, particularly in this tier. Um, it's been my favourite tier to watch. Bias because it's commentating on it. Uh, I'm your commentator, Lewis, today, and Thomas is here in the building as well. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Lewis. Yeah, we're both biased, but it is true, though. <laughs> it is true. It, I can't so say good. anything else. If, if people watched yet, uh, last week's race, they can only agree with us, I would say. Absolutely. That has to be one of the best races um, we've ever had. Like uh, Once again, uh, the volume is not working for qualifying so I've got no... I got it now as well yeah yeah I got no uh, car sounds so uh, apologies for that um, the, for quality we're gonna have quiet it, you'll just hear the the sound of our voices um, but for the race it should all be fine it should all resurrect um, but yeah it's, it, the season's gone so quickly it just feels like well it, time's flown uh, the season began back in was it April did we start the season? Um, yeah, April, something like April, that. May yeah. time, wasn't it? Um, yeah, and oh no, I think it was March because it was it was shortly. It was either just before the season started in actual F1. In real which, life, yeah, because yeah. We, but we, it was just a full Australian month, week, or something like that. Like yeah, it, yeah, everyone was gonna kick off at Australia at that point. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, time has flown by. We're we're now into September. And obviously we did have a big break um, between 2018 and 2019, but uh, yeah, we're nearly there now. Just got the US of A and then Brazil next week. Um, tier 2 obviously have one more race after Abu Dhabi. Uh, they've got their Belgium rerun race. So there's still, I suppose, Tier 2 has that unique where they've essentially got four races to go. So for us, we've still got four races to commentate on. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Fascinating. Ricky was able. I mean, the race turned on its head. At one point, we thought Ricky was gonna have the issues, um, and uh, with the wing damage, and Mage was gonna take more, increase the lead. And in the end, tire choice proved crucial, and Ricky was able to regain the championship lead coming into this race. So, uh, all to play for. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, last week it just brought this bank championship all up to our life and again like at, like two weeks ago we thought matrix was gonna win it quite easily he was just dominating the race and ricky was coming second every single race uh but now because of last week uh, ricky took back the championship lead and yeah i saw he had a little bit of practice in um he was free the last couple of days or at least he didn't have to work that much like he had last week so he practiced a little bit, so he should be up to grip with Matrix and maybe he can do something about his race pace as well. I think Matrix will be quicker in qualifying like he is always. Um, he is third or fourth in time trial at this track as Robin puts in, no, never mind, Vermeer puts in a fast lap time. Um, but yeah, Matrix really quick, um, he's probably going to take pole position again, but I see Ricky doing something um, in the race to... Uh, close in or maybe ex or actually extend the championship lead um, but yeah we're talking a lot about P1 and P2 in the championship but we got a big fight for P3 going on as well the last promotion spot if I'm not mistaken um, I'm not quite sure if that's true because we got a lot of people who are gonna leave their one for next season so maybe we're gonna have a little bit more guys promoting from tier 2 compared to last season but the battle for P3 now is Mitch on 158 points and we got Ginger on 154 points sorry so that's just a four points difference between Mitch and Ginger so um, that could be quite interesting as well their P1 and P2 at the moment uh, so yeah definitely need to keep an eye out for that as well yeah and uh, by the way guys uh, just uh, let, let us know if there's any issues I'm looking at the app uh, the feed looks good quality at the moment, but uh, looking through the comments, we've been already uh, uh, we've already been ripped. It's, this is round 19, said Pure Blades. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, we, uh, well, it, it, we're getting towards the end of the season, so uh, 
it is hard. It's, it's late. We're tired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially for you, Thomas. Like you know, an extra hour. Is, uh, an extra hour it is. Yeah, yep. it's ten past eleven. But uh, yeah, uh, other comments. Uh, good evening, KV is in the chat room. Our tier three McLaren driver. Good evening, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. So and Dom Reyes has also put hello, gents. Hello. Yes, we are. We are here. So uh, strategy wise, it's going to be pretty easy. Uh, Pete, I mean, two stop can work if you have issues potentially with your wings at the beginning of the, maybe not at the very start but if you had an issue maybe around lap seven lap six um possibly you wanted to eke out a hard tire would probably be the better strategy but you could try and be adventurous of a two-stop it isn't that much slower however a normal race proceedings by far the one stop is the choice to go for soft tires to start on um, and finish off with mediums uh, there's no issues uh, with tire wear so long as it's a normal race with no safety cars if a safety car is involved um, I think it'd be very smart to look into pitting under the safety car to get fresh tires um, because the degradation is there on this track and then particularly the last sector um, that really plays an issue on tyres that are worn out um, because it, the traction that's needed and the, the front end bite um, while while braking in those final sector corners really make a difference when you've got the grip. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you've got like the edges in sector one will really hurt the tyres and you've got the end of sector uh, three uh, with the long right-hander. Um, yes, third of sector two is really sector for the tires to calm down to cool down a little bit as well um, but especially at the beginning of race you really want to watch those tire temps because if you overheat the tires at around lap two lap three um, it's going to be a very long stint on the soft tires on the medium tires and on the hard tires it's okay um, you don't suffer any tire temp issues so far what i've noticed um, but on the softs you do so we need to keep an eye out for that and yeah we're gonna see uh, a lot of people managing that really well I think but especially the guys who didn't have the time to put in a lot of practice will probably suffer at the end of the stint um, we have got pure blades in the chat as well he says tier 3 put on a hell of a race last night let's see if tier 2 can match them um, well I know they can it's just gonna be a case of if they can do it or if they will do it let's say and um, yeah he said they had a great battle for the lead it was a great battle between uh, Sergey and Perry Perry took it on penalties so but yeah those two were really close together I can see uh, Ricky and Matrix do it as well or yeah like we had last week maybe someone else um, was gonna take uh, the lead of the race but we got to wait and see Matrix so far uh, without a lap time I don't know if he invalidated it um, he's on a quick lap right now so gonna be interesting to see what he can do as he's come across the line last turn now and up to the line missed that apex a little bit but p1, p1. like i expected 131.6 so that's matrix in p1 and ricky in p5 so he got some work to do yeah uh mp so far p2 great uh it was on provisional pole obviously it's very early on at this at this stage um yeah, yeah in terms of the track will evolve uh, the fastest lap in tier three uh, in quali was 131.6. So um, I'm expecting, you know, Matrix has already equaled the tier three benchmark. Um, I'm expecting um, perhaps an improvement into the low 131s um, as the session progresses. The guys have got plenty of soft tires, um, or three sets of soft tires, in fact, for this quali. So uh, there's no shortage of being able to do timed laps. Um, but yeah, Mitch, I'm on board with Mitch now. Uh, he's on his second run, his current best, only a few thousandths off MP. So if he can improve, if we enable the uh, telemetry, so now we've got all the sectors up. Uh, there's a driver off there. Um, I can't see who that was. But uh, yeah, Mitch is a tenth down on his previous best. So it's not over yet. He might as well keep going because the last sector, you can always gain a lot of time. Uh, if you get your point, your lines right and get good traction out of those particular left and right, double left and double right handers, and then the long left hander coming into, sorry, the long long right hander going into the two left handers. Now the final turn 
is it enough for Mitch to improve on his previous best? He comes across the line. It is. It is. 131.8 just. So good final sector for him. Gets him into P2 for now. That setup working well for Mitch. Uh, it was cruelly, cruelly victory uh, was cruelly taken from him uh, last week. Uh, I couldn't believe uh, what we were watching in Mexico last week. He had a comfortable 20-second lead. Done the tyres right. Uh, he was going to pit that lap as well. And then a rear puncher put pay to uh, a, a first victory um, of the season. Yeah, that was really unlucky for him. But he definitely got the pace at his home Grand Prix. Um, I'm on board with Ricky right now. He is starting his lap. Yeah. Quite crucial for him to be up there with Matrix. Um, if he has to make his way through the field at the beginning of the race, there's really the chance of getting front wing damage like he had last week. And especially now, if it's not going to be raining or something like that, Matrix will probably run away with this one if it stays like this. So Ricky needs to put in that really good lap. We know he can do it. Um, it's just a case. Will he do it right now as he comes up to the end of sector two, the very long straight. Right now, full power, or power working at his absolute best at the moment. And he's got a Sauber in front of him. I think that's Mitch. Um, so hopefully he's not gonna hold him up as he comes to the end of sector two, starting sector three now. Really tricky, double left-hander, really easy to lock up. And then up to um, the Max Verstappen corner. Triple <laughs> right-hander. It still hurts. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> then up to the double left-hander. Really good apex. Love the corner, by the way. And then up to the last corner. Good apex compared to Matrix. And now up to the line. 131.5. That's P1 for Ricky. Massive. He was three tenths up in the second sector and then went up massively in that final sector, as expected with that extra bit of grip again. That, that third sector, you gained so much. Um, so we're into the 131.5s. Uh, let's see MP because he's on his hot lap, I believe. No, no, he's done his hot lap and didn't improve. So uh, MP... Uh, still in P4 for now with uh, one run left to go. So let's see. Let's see we else. got Mac IMAX who is in last position at the moment. He's seven tens up on his time, so he's definitely going to improve if he's not going to cutting any corners. Yep, he going comes to, up last to the line now. Yeah, last he's seven corner. tenths up. So it's a 132, looks like it should be. Ooh. Oh no, 1318. Wow, massive Good improvement. Lap. Massive improvement in the final sector as well. So he must have made a big mistake um, compared to his last lap, or in his last lap, um, I should say. And now he made a big, big, big improvement to put his Renault up there in P4. Um, yeah, interesting. Both Renaults up to pace, uh, it seems like. So uh, definitely uh, two guys to look out for. And we got Jin Jin on P6 with his rifle for P3 and his standings Mitch in P3 at the moment. So Mitch is doing a really good job as well. Um, what about F1 So She's in the pits right now. She won last week's race. Um, P10 with a 132.1. That's the worst position you want to be in. Um, the last position that you still need to stick with the tires you set your fast lap on. Um, so yeah, Dan is in a prime position now to do the opposite strategy. Well, right. He's suffering a um, injury to his hand, so um, yeah, severe yeah, that's injury. a great excuse from him. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I know what it's like. Um, yeah, Matrix, on, he's on his hot lap now. I'm pretty sure we. Oh, did he, he? Did he ghost there? No, no, no. That's just no. That's just the lighting. Um, yeah. So uh, now I don't know if we still have the glitch. I know it was like it yesterday where we f it, the clock is lower than what it actually is. So it says 2 minutes 40 on our feed, but it could be a um, that it's actually ahead of time. Uh, but Matrix, I guess this would be his last lap, uh, last run. Um, because if the clock is how it is, um, he's not going to be able to get back out again. So this is his final run. Um, I, um, like they, I think they have got 30 seconds left. Um. Yeah, he's coming in. He go oh no, he stopped. Oh, <laughs> oh my days! He went way too hot, and that's gonna completely. Fortunately uh, for that's him, that's over. Yeah, he's not gonna have the fuel. 
Jesus, that was almost qualifying over a matrix, but it is over but already. It is. Yeah, it's uh, over anyway. Because, yeah, now he doesn't have enough time. I think they got uh, 30 seconds more than it says on our screen. Right. Um, because at like um, 17 minutes and 30 seconds left, they all went out. Um, so I think this is the same glitch we had at the start of the yeah. uh, new game. Um, yeah. But yeah, still with those 30 seconds added on, he won't have enough time to make it back to the pits and set his outlap. So yeah, that's not a pole position for Matrix. Um, and Ricky will be starting ahead of him, definitely. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. Something uh, a little bit different compared to the last couple of weeks at least. Um, and we got a uh, robot in the chat as well. He says Roman has um, has to have a massive improvement. He did a 131 in practice today. So we expect a little bit more from Robin. Who is in last place at the moment, unfortunately. But he's on his outlap, so he's looking to get an improvement. Oh, on Ricky's the next retired. Lap. Yes, Ricky retired. And. Can't see if he made a mistake. Sectors. I mean, I thought he was in the pits. Uh, he must have just come out. But no, I can't see. But thankfully for him, he is already uh, P1. So, But he won't be able to improve. So, but fortunately for him, Matrix isn't going to be able to improve either. In fact, Matrix has now stopped on the track. Um, I guess he's, he's just trying to allow everyone through, I think. He's not trying to cause any issues. But uh, the Fallen, no. I think, is the first one on a hot lap. And he's a tenth up at the moment. A lot of people on out laps. Um, but the Fallen is... Yeah, he's going to be the first one to complete... His quali, so he's into uh, in, almost into the third sector now, coming towards the end. So he's fifth, five hundreds up. He was a late. He didn't know he was going to be able to race for this for this uh, event, but he was uh, the eleventh hour. He was able to do it. So he he's coming up to traffic though, and this traffic could cause him issues. In fact, he's backed out. ERS completely is backed out. So I don't know what's gonna what he's gonna do here, but. Um, I guess he's going to pit. He's aborted his lap. Yep, so the Fallen is not going to improve on his lap time. So who else? And Mitch now. Mitch just started his yep. fastest. So we don't have to keep an eye out for him yet. Robin is on a fast lap. He's three tenths up on his time. He's just started Sector 2, coming up now yep. to the big, big straight. Um, yeah, he needs to improve. He really needs to, because 17th place is not the place he should be. Um, I know he's better than that. So Quali is now, the, the clock's finished, because Fallen and Matrix have got checker flag icons on them. Yeah. Wisey Boy is going to be the next one coming up, but again, he's got back markers. There's a Mercedes ahead. Um, I don't know whether the Mercedes is not doing a lap time, because it's quite... Sophie is alone on a lap time, yeah. Right, okay. Because she comes through and goes to P6. P6. Why is he boy? And why is boy P12? Okay, who's next then? Uh, we got Robin. Robin's coming up now to the line. He's got uh, one more corner to go. It's I don't I don't know. If it's a quick one though. Come on, uh, Robin. It's not a quick lap, I don't think. It's 1:32. It gets him up ah, to P12. P12, but it's uh, not quite up there. Matty Robbo is next, and he has got the other half quickly behind him. His so here we go, final corner. He's going to be a 132 as well, I think. He is P14. Ben Robo behind him, P10. So where's Mitch? Mitch uh, is coming along the line now. What's that? Mitch has improved, but not quite enough to get ahead of Matrix. And we've got oh. the both Renos now. MP coming up to the last turn with Ginger in front of him. Ginger oh. comes up to the line. P5, MP, P5. So that drops Ginger down to P6. And we've got IMAX. The Renault, he comes into the pits. And so does Crow. And we got Crow, and yeah, he pulls into the pits as well. So this is it. Yep. Ricky on pole position. And he will be best seat in the house to grab some points on Matrix. And with Mitch in P3, he's looking to gain some points on Ginger as well. With the two Renaults splitting them. Wow. So interesting. So uh, Mitch getting a really solid quality. And to me, like, whenever he, he's good in quali, he's definitely got the race pace then. Um, so, uh, but yeah, the two Ferraris, once again, front row lockout. Short, but it's a short, but... Uh, 
the turn one is always a tricky one and if you get a good run it can make all the difference going to this first turn I expect fireworks uh, for the start of this race as the volume of the engines return oh yeah I heard it as well lovely stuff yes so there you go, he's so close that top, uh, just like yesterday's race, the top 10 separated by half a second. Uh, Ricky and Matrix Ferrari lock out, Mitch P3, IMAX 4th, MP 5th, Ginger Ninja 6th, R bar in 7th, F1 OP 8th, Dan in 9th, Dan Robbo 10th, Varamir in 11th, Robin 12th, Juventus 13th, Wisey Boy 14th, Matty Robbo 15th, The Fallen in 16th, and Crowen down in 17th position so um, yeah just quick who do you think is gonna win this race what is the podium gonna look like well it's dry so it's not gonna be any uh, crazy racing uh, or crazy weather assisted racing um, I think the two Ferrari boys are always with a chance you know if it's a no, no safety car involved um, I, th I think it's going to be, I think Matrix, if Matrix has the pace, but Ricky could use that crafty race craft that he's got on him, um, I think it's going to be one of the two Ferraris though, um, I think, uh, I I'm going to go with Matrix, just because he needs to, he needs to take points uh, back, he can't afford to lose any more points, whilst Ricky... He, he would rather win, but he has a championship lead to defend. Um, he won't want to do anything stupid and um, finish well down the order. Yeah, fair enough. But I don't know if you remembered last year's race here at um, I did. Well, I was in Tier 3 and Tier 2's race last uh, last year. <laughs> okay, last yeah, season. fair enough. But we had um, a fight between um, Ricky... Dan um, yes. and two other guys, I can't remember who it was, but Ricky defended for his life um, and actually I don't know if he took the win or he took the last podium spot but at least he held off like four people for like 15 laps or something so I know he can defend around his track, we know he can defend, um, he can make his car as big as he wants really so I can see him defend for Matrix for his life but if Matrix runs a little bit of a lower down for setup, I think it will just blow Ricky away on the straight um, because Slipstream and DRS is really strong uh, at, on this game. I don't know if he can pull it off like he did last year, but I can definitely, definitely see Ricky do it. So um, definitely need to keep an eye out for that as well. And it's going to be interesting to see what Mitch can do. Um, again, P3 for him. Like... He's now used to seeing two Ferraris in front of him, I would say. Maybe he can do something as well. He can help Ricky if he uh, overtakes the Matrix on lap 1 or lap 2. Yeah, uh, the other thing also, it's actually a quite easy track to defend, I think, personally. Um, the last sector, as long as you just don't outbreak yourself, you can cover the lines uh, where the Ferrari is going well. to now. First sector, impossible to overtake. Um, and you can just save your ERS and then apply it all down that straight and then save your ERS again in the final sector. So it is it is a track which is actually quite tricky to overtake at if you're very similar on pace. That will help Ricky as long as, the crucial thing, as long as he is the first car into that turn one. If, if Matrix gets the better start on that inside line, then uh, Matrix will have track position. You will, yeah, and I don't know how good Ricky is at starting on this game. I know Matrix is really good at his start, so yeah, no one is as good as Fruitful. I must say that, but yeah, and don't Matrix can pull off a really good start. So that's gonna be interesting to see as everyone is lining up to the grid, and hopefully we're gonna see a very, very exciting race. Let's see if it's lining up now. So we have five red lights. And away we go. 
for the USA Grand Prix. Ricky with a really good start. Mitch had a terrible start coming off the line. Matrix defense from the Renault was going round the outside, pushes him wide, and that's the two Ferraris clear. And Ricky in the lead, and Ginjinia is up to P4, fighting with a Renault. Side by side into the S's. Gee. But it's Ginjinia up to P3, and it's Mitch down to P6. SMP lost it. No, lost the position to his teammate. But uh, Ginjini and Mitch swap places, and there's Mitch now down to P4 in the championship standings. Yeah, great start by Ricky. What he needed to do into that uh, first corner. Matrix had to keep on the inside because the Renaults were closely following. Great run by Ginger Ninja, uh, but thankfully, great driving from everyone. Didn't seem to have any issues with uh, tyre uh, wing damage or anything like that. So a great start for everyone involved. We've got a battle on our hands. It's very close in quality. Will it be close in the race? Yeah, this, it's, it, oh, it's going to be so close. At least I hope so. Uh, we've got Sophie and Fallen going for it. Sophie defends. Fallen is going to go for a move. Let's see on which... Oh, that's an ass off. No way. That's Melly Robo. And... and that's him in last place. Don't know who he collided with, but he, he just he flew through. This guy, I don't know what was going on there, but yeah. Don't know if he's got damage, it doesn't look like it. We should just be able to continue on. Um, but that's a shame for his race, but we got the two Ferraris really close together still. Really tricky to stay close in sector 1 with all the dirty air, but Matrix is probably going to do his best maybe to get past on um, the long DRS straight. Going up DRS until the next lap though, so maybe he's got to wait for another lap, but he would definitely try to get past Ricky. Matrix looks much quicker at the moment. You, Ricky had a poor line in the last corner. Um, he's, he's just not got the same pace on this heavy fuel load run at the moment. And I can see Matrix, if he gets a good run here in the final turn, of the hairpin, sorry, he's gonna... Ricky gets off the corner pretty good. Matrix is an overtake, Ricky's defending. But they're very similar on straight line speed. Matrix gives him the little dummy, but Ricky doesn't defend. Oh, Jinjinia is fighting with IMAX, but he holds on as he runs wide. And Ricky's Ooh, already defending. IMAX, going oh, oh, the Mercedes! No! no! Drown the Renault! No! Traumatic scenes! Oh, no! I thought the Mercedes was going in so hot, and this is what can happen. And this has dramatically, dramatically turned the championship once again into Ricky's favour. Oh, this is this Ricky will be grinning from Wrexham in Wales all the way to the United States here because that is music to his ears. Uh, unreal, and, and it's given him a massive gap now to IMAX and P2 and MP and P3. Oh my days, it was... It, this, yeah, this was crazy, it was... IMAX was gonna go for a move on Ginginia, Ginginia defended the inside, Matrix went for a, went for a white line to make the switchback on Ricky, and Ginginia had just too much pace to make the corner, and he just ran completely into the side of Matrix. Um, Matrix spun around and then he got collected by, I think it was Mitch or Dan, I don't know who it was. Uh, but he got yeah, completely yeah. collected by one of the Sauber guys, I think. Um, and yeah, he is down now in last place, he had to change his wing and he's on medium tires as Mitch is gonna go for a move on Jinji yeah. he and has wing damage India. because he collided. The Force India is going past both of them. Oh, Double not overtake. quite. Not, oh, oh. No, not quite. But, oh, he's just got to be careful. He's defending, but he has to be careful. He doesn't do the same thing twice here. Oh, it's so easy to do that corner, though. And, uh, but yeah, Jin, the, the two, uh, the two Salvers haven't got wing damage. Oh, look at Varamir and Ginger Ninja. This is going to go, is it? Brilliant move by Varamir to finish off the job. Ginger Ninja has to pit, and he does. He is. As MP, yeah, MP's MP now in a P2. Fastest lap, Renault he's did flying. A 21. 
And yeah, he's flying. He's probably gonna catch Ricky at this rate. Yeah, he's massively quicker. I mean, IMAX has dropped off a little bit uh, behind MP. So, I mean, many twists and turns can still happen. The Matrix has to rely on a uh, on a safety car of some sort. Yes, otherwise I don't see him coming back into this race. He's 27 seconds behind. Oh, he's 5 seconds behind Chinchinia now, but still. Oh, this is going to be a very hard and long race for him. I don't want to know what's going through his head at the moment. He will be frustrated. I can't imagine. It will be a two-stop strategy then. Uh, the fact he's gone to the medium. Uh, which I think, to be fair, is probably the right choice. Because going on to the hard for the rest of the race, you'd just be dead by the end of the race. So a two-stopper yeah. allows for all... Oh, there's, there's a double overtake going on here. The Force India runs Why deep he though. Why is he boy? Not getting the job done. Uh, but uh, good attempt. Juventus already has eight seconds worth of penalties in the four laps already. So uh, not great for Juventus. Not great for him indeed. And uh, we got Mitch now. He's within a second of Arbor, so he's looking to take the P4 from the Red Bull driver. As MP is still a second away, so he's just he's just caught not though, close enough. It was it was a good half a second, and Ricky went wide. He went too deep in the final corner. Still not happy with that car, and lost a good four tenths on the final corner alone. So that car is not working well. MP looks much quicker in this first sector and he can he's almost in that DRS zone if he can get in that DRS it'll help so much down this straight and he is there oh yellow it's fallen fallen spawn in the S's don't know what happened to him maybe he collided with Robin because he was fighting with him uh, yeah that's fallen he spawned and he's down a place but we got a big fight going on for P1 at the moment with yep. MP in the DRS of Ricky and Ricky needs to make his car as big as possible which we know he can to hold off Matri uh, Matrix <laughs> yeah that's what I'm used to saying <laughs> just to hold off MP sorry Mitch also having a look at uh, our bar as YZ boy gets penalties as well is Mitch had a little think about it but decided against in the end, but he has got the force in your Varamir, who's absolutely flying at the moment, right on the back of these two. So Varamir's got the pace as well. He's looking quick at this stage. Varamir's oh, Ricky! Really quick. Ricky, and really. Sh sorry, Ricky struggles with that final corner. He's just got. I think he's got bad understeer in that car at the moment. Something you don't want. He doesn't have wing damage, so. Uh, if you got wing damage, that would have explained it, but it doesn't have any wing damage on my screen at least. And no. yeah, MP just just like you said last lap, he looks much more confident, especially going through this section. Yeah. Uh, compared to the front, you just see him closing in. And his teammate picks up a three second time. Frame. Yeah. You know what the problem is for Arbor? He's just not close enough. Uh, maybe he can. Yeah. Now he's within a second. If Arbor gets the RS, um, then Mitch and Vermeer get stuck behind him. Because they won't get past him if he got DRS as well. Now 1.1 the gap is again. Um, Mitch needs to do it on this lap. Otherwise, Arbor will probably get DRS. Let's see. He has not have DRS Here right comes now. MP. So Mitch needs to make the move. MP as well. No, no. he's looking. Ricky broke a bit deep though. If I was MP, I'd get a good run and just show the nose, but he's not close enough. Ricky had a little thing about defending. Now, knowing Ricky, being the crafty guy he is, he will look to pit as early as possible to get away with the medium tyre. And I think that will be around the lap 8 period. Because uh, I did it yesterday, I had no issues with the medium, and undercutting gains you such an advantage um, that I think Ricky will look to pit around lap 8 he, yeah if he pits lap 8 then the mediums will still 
hold on to the end of the race. Um, if MP takes the undercut, then MP will probably stay in front of, of Ricky because I don't see Ricky coming back at MP. No. We've got to wait and see uh, Mitch and Arbar. It's just the IMAX train at the moment. Uh, with four guys, IMAX, Arbar, Mitch and Vermeer, and then they got the gap to Dan, who's got a one second gap to Juventus as well, so... Yeah, he's just creating a little bit of a no man's land. And we got Dan Robo with Weiser Boy in his gearbox. MP's closer now. MP surely is going to have a great chance here to make the lead, take the lead here. He's got the DRS and Ricky, I don't think he's going to even defend it. He knows, no point. MP's down the inside. And he's done it. So MP takes the lead off the American United States Grand Prix. And Mitch, oh, having a look on IMAX. Now that Arbar has got past him. Uh, I'm uh, Sorry, Arbar's got past IMAX. So IMAX not got the pace as yet. And MP now starting to pull away from Ricky. Oh, we've got a big fight between Crow and, and Robin. Robin over to Robin into the double left hander, but Robin can he come back? Those soft tires they must be feeling really bad compared to the medium tires of Proven. Oh Vermeer is in. Vermeer is going for the undercut. Interesting. It, it, and it will work. Eight. It will work. It will work, but will those tires be worn out at the end of the race or will we still be able to match the guys who are gonna stop later? It depends on his setup, how aggressive his tyres are, uh, how aggressive his setup is on the tyres, rather. But um, I know Mitch's setup for me yesterday was really good with looking after the tyres. I was able to pit on the end of this lap, uh, end of lap eight, and was able to do 20 laps on the mediums, even with a bit of front wing missing for the last five laps. So I was still uh, not too shabby, so uh, I can see... Uh, I can see that, that as long as his setup isn't too aggressive, I can see him being able to do it. It's not the can fastest. Do, yeah, but you, it, it's not the fastest, but track position is so crucial around here. It is Ricky closing Ricky, up, closing yeah. up, closing up. Is he gonna go for it? Nope. Stays behind MP. You know what the problem is for IMAX as well? MP is in front of him. Oh, Mitch makes a move around the outside. He's mm, nope. got the inside though. Stick it down there. Oh, oh, good defending by IMAX. Oh, he touched. He may... Yeah, he collided with IMAX, but they're okay. Uh, but what I want to say is MP, um, he's in the lead of IMAX. So IMAX, he's got to stop on this lap. Ricky goes for the undercut as well. Ricky yeah. is in, and IMAX needs to stop as well. Yeah, smart play from IMAX. Because if MP was gonna... Ooh, if MP was gonna stop on the next lap, and uh, IMAX continued on, he had to continue on to lap 10. Yeah, um, and that would hurt his race. Um, but he collided with the wall coming into the pit, so I don't know if he picked up wing damage by it. Uh, but yeah, IMAX on the medium tires, Ricky of course as well. And now it's going to be interesting to see where Vermeer comes out, because he is coming out of the pit. We can see Ricky coming out, but IMAX is behind him. So just oh, like you the said, Williams. that was the other card all fallen. Yeah, make a bit of contact, but it's alright. Ricky... That was crucial for him to get clear air. So he's going to be able to... Oh, he had a little bit of a moment there. Oh, he's gone a bit wide. But he got away with it. But uh, yeah, this is Ricky's chance to, to take the, the uh, lead back off MP. With that clear air. The clear air is going to do it with the fresh tyres. MP needs to make the most of his lap at the moment. Otherwise, he will be dropped down behind Ricky. Um, he had, Ricky had a little bit of a moment at the start of Sector 1, so maybe that allows MP to still stay in front of Ricky. But, as I see right now, MP will probably finish B well, or come out behind well, Ricky. Here's something, Varamir pinning that lap earlier is right behind Ricky. So that just shows you how good that undercut is. Because Varamir is now in the hunt, and he has the pace. So, he, he managed to get ahead of Mitch and IMAX. So these guys are sitting pretty here. MP pits. So uh, Ricky didn't take too much time. Oh, bar as well. Ricky, Ricky didn't take too much time out of uh, MP. So uh, here we go then. 
we go to... Oh, this is going to be close. MP's coming out of the pits now. He's going to take it. No, I think he might get ahead of Ricky. He's still going to be ahead of Ricky here. <laughs> oh, this is going to be close. He's going to get the traction though, Ricky. Oh, they're going side by side. MP's... He might do it. He's going to do it. What a move by Ricky. Oh, what a move. Oh, 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 oh. What a move from Ricky. Really, really good job. Round the outside of MP. And it's him into a net P1. With MP and Vermeer really close behind him. Oh, Vermeer almost lost it on the curb. Holds on. And yeah, this is going to be really interesting. IMAX as well. Was really close to Vermeer as well. And then you got Fallen. It's just splitting Mitch and IMAX. Fallen is just... Oh, he's going to... Mitch is going to be frustrated by Fallen. Vermeer's got yeah, so much tree line speed. Like, even with the DRS that MP had, he was still closing in at a rate of knots. So, Varamir obviously on a lower downforce setting. But now MP, with his tyres coming up to temperature, will be able to try and fight back on Ricky. Yes, F1 Sophie is in. He's gonna make a one and only pit stop, I reckon. And that moves Ricky now up to P3. Um, and he's looking to get really close to Crow. And as IMAX puts in a fast lap of the race, with the arrest, of course. Um, so he's trying to get past Vermeer. With his teammate, though, maybe Renault can play a tactical game if MP can get in front of Ricky. And if they really work well together, they can take a 1 2 at this race. Absolutely. I think MP now, now he's got the tyres up to temperature. If he can stay close enough onto the back of Ricky, I think a few of these guys. Varamir struggles in that first sector, which makes sense because of his low downforce. But Varamir, Varamir could end up being close enough to pass both Ricky and MP. Oh, he, oh, he goes a bit deep, but he doesn't lose. To, oh, M IMAX loses the rear end. That could cost him with Mitch behind him. But here we go. MP's closing in, closing in, but not enough. And Mitch is also not close enough. And Arbar is losing out at the moment because Matrix, he got past Arbar as well. Uh, Arbar just got past Fallen. Um, but yeah, he lost out a lot. I don't know what he did, but he didn't do it correctly because yeah, now he is P9 and he was P3 when he made his stop so something must have gone wrong and Mitch now IMAX is closing up to Vermeer at a ridiculously pace uh, and Mitch is just holding on to IMAX and now all of these guys are back together and we got a big big fight going on for the lead oh, of the race MP. really sorry MP I thought MP was having a little look there but He's definitely got the pace on Ricky. Ricky might end up with DRS here, but well, he's coming up to the back of Crowin, which is going to give him dirty air. Now, Ricky, he's not going to fight too aggressively because he knows he's got a great chance of extending his championship lead. But it's a horrible position to be in because if he gets overtaken by one, he could then see himself getting overtaken by the others. MP doesn't get a great line though here. Oh, look at the firm here. So close behind. And look at IMAX. IMAX is bloody flying. All four of these guys could pass <laughs> each other. But Ricky's going to make a move on Crow, and this is going to be crucial because Crow and now MP needs to make a move as well. MP does make a move. Oh, Crow, get out of the way, please. <laughs> Farmer and Crow, and Crow has all the right to be there, but he's really, really. Oh my. What is oh, going on between Vermeer and yeah. Crowen? Yeah, it's like a, a... I don't know what's going on there, but it looks like they're ghosting. Great move from Vermeer. <laughs> yeah, they're still, they're still piggybacking each other. This oh, happens in real... <laughs> well, <laughs> in, somehow that must be one of the greatest moves I've ever seen. And they're still doing it. So obviously we're seeing something that's not actually happening. Reflecting it in is, real life. Yeah. MP's got...
I'd be move. Danny, Ricky, terrible camera angle. I think he's Ricky the room though. Oh, I would have squeezed Ricky out. I wouldn't have given him the room. Cause you know Ricky oh, wouldn't do that. Yeah. And people really kind to Ricky. Yeah. Just like all say, Ricky's not gonna do that to mate uh, to uh, MP. Uh, uh, he, and now Vormir, yeah, he's close as well. IMAX got past Chrome as well. Same goes on for Mitch, so we got the top five now all oh. closing up again. And MP is so much faster than Ricky. It's ridiculous. And Ricky, he doesn't have the arrest right now, so MP should be able to make a move. Ah, uh, poor run though. Poor exit in that hairpin. It's going to be very close if he can make the move. He's not even an overtake either. Ah, oh, nah, he... I would have made that looking. move. Just go for it. That's I would have made I mean. a stick at sector one. Just yeah, like you said, yeah. just rel let him run wide and then take the position. MP is really kind, really respectful driving, but... It's too nice. Not what you need to do. Nah, yeah, it was too nice. Ricky's it's the one who's got something to race, lose. So you need to be R clear. I, yeah. I know, Ricky's the one who's got something to lose. I, I can be as aggressive as I want with him. Like, yeah, MP has got, he's got nothing to worry about. He can just fight what he and, wants. And Ricky the, is the one who needs to be careful. And the problem is putting himself under pressure from Varamir and the other guys behind. It is, yeah. If you make one mistake, you're going to lose a lot of positions. Yeah. What, what, well, he had a chance of passing Ricky into the final turn. I would have done that because he would have got DR still. By the before he got to the line, he would have moved DRS. But it was two. This that's two things which have, could cost MP the victory here today. Ricky is, Ricky's out of DRS almost. Not uh, not quite. All oh, the Faramir very close, and MP. We got away with that because Varamir got too close in the apex and uh, ended up losing time. Yeah, and this allows Matrix to close up to these guys, but remember, he is a pit stop behind. He still needs to make a pit stop, unfortunately for him. Yeah. Um, the number two in the driver championship. So he will lose out a lot of time and will probably be finishing outside the points. But for now, he is in fight for P1 as well. Uh, imagine if he went on the hard tires, he maybe could have made it stick. Um, will be unlikely though, but maybe. Um, but yeah, that's really unfortunate for his race. But Ricky will be happy about it. And MP closed right up, so the fight is back on. But we've got yeah. Vermeer who's struggling in Sector 2 and 3. He's closing it all up in Sector 1, but he's just struggling at the end of the lap. And that allows MP to have nothing to worry about. And he doesn't have to look behind him, he can just purely focus on Ricky in front of him. And IMAX is just, just, oh, he really wants to get past. Same goes on for Mitch and probably for Matrix as well. Uh, so Vermeer holding up the pack in Sector 2 and 3, but he, watch him now, he's going to be closing up to MP in Sector 1. Yep, MP in the dirty air of Ricky in Sector 1. You lose a bit of time. But he is a bit closer now. He's four tenths is the gap. Now I'd get the ERS high up before you get to this corner, so you get a good run. Because Ricky, uh, get, Ricky gets good traction. It's close though. I think MP can make the move here. He's got the slipstream. Here we go. Change the lead once again. MP takes the lead. Well, it's not the lead of the race theoretically, because why is he still? Out? But in terms of the guys that are pitted, that is an crucial change in the lead. And Varamir is starting to come back towards Ricky. So now Varamir yes, will look. Yeah, Varamir will have a look for P2 now because he knows Ricky is vulnerable. Um, yeah, they're all at sort of the same level of ERS. Ricky is at 50%. Uh, Vermeer is at 70%, so he's got a lot more ERS to burn. Uh, but yeah, uh, MP and Ricky are on the same level of ERS, so it's going to be interesting to see if MP can now run away or if he still needs to defend from Ricky because Ricky will probably do his best to at least keep up and maybe get past on the next lap as well. That's right, yeah, it's crucial for MP to pull away in this first sector with that fresh air. 
Um, yeah, Ricky is the one now that has to go through that dirty air. But he's doing all right. He's got the pace to follow. He just doesn't have the pace on his own. Um, That's my problem, usually. <laughs> it's always easier to follow. Oh, Ricky gets a moment, though. He gets a little Ricky moment. Ricky gets a moment, and this is, this is the time for Vermit to show up. Um, he's closing in on breaking. Get a good exit. Oh, 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 he lost it. But Ricky well, will have DRS. Uh, yeah, the struggle for Vermeer is that the guy in front of him gets DRS as well. Yeah. If it, it doesn't matter if it's MP or Ricky, they both got DRS. So it's really hard for Vermeer to get past. He really needs to rely on a mistake from both of the guys in front of him to really gain a position. Um, same goes on for IMAX and Mitch. They're all just looking. Oh, Ricky! Is he gonna go for a move? He was looking. But yeah, all of the guys behind. Yes, he is! Oh. Ricky's not gonna go for a move. And this is just for Vermeer to get a better exit. And maybe make a move on Ricky. No, he's too far away. Uh, but yeah, those three guys just hoping for a mistake of the two guys in front. We're only just over the halfway point of this race. Um, we're on, we've got another cracker here. All these guys, the top six line, or top seven, although Matrix does obviously have to stop again. All line the stern here. What a cracking race this is. Ricky is not letting MP get away with this one. Oh, MP, he on the curb, lost it a little bit, that really hurt his entry, and now Ricky can just run non-ERS coming up to this section, as he cuts the track, 3 seconds for Ricky, and I know oh. MP's got 3 seconds as well, so that equals out the amount of penalties, and that's definitely going to play, as IMAX picks up 3 seconds as well, that's definitely going to play a factor in this race, uh, with everyone picking up time penalties now, um, how much penalties is everyone going to take? Because at the end, maybe some guys can relax because they know they're going to take some position of penalties. Ah, oh, Varamir, Varamir! Oh, oh no! IMAX. Oh, what a shame! And that allows Arbar back through now. But Varamir ran really deep. And uh, it's such a shame. As Ricky almost gets right to the back of... Uh, now, that allows Mitch now into the fold. But... Um, yeah, Varmi ran really deep again that entry and uh oh, such a shame for the battle for the win here. You take two other protagonists out, which means to say we now we just got the three left. Really. Um, yeah. Two down, a, three to go. <laughs> yeah. Such a shame it, is, yeah. it was looking really good for the rest of this race as Wisey Boy is that Wisey Boy Pitten? Yes it is. So MP is. will inherit the lead. And Ricky, you know, I, I think it, it was just really unfortunate for IMAX because I think I'm because Vermeer went wide, um, IMAX went for a move down the inside. Yeah. Um, but I think Vermeer lost it on entry. Yeah. Uh, or on exit, sorry. Um, and because IMAX was on the inside, he just completely Turned, yeah, took yeah. Uh, uh, took IMAX with him when Vermeer spun. Um, so I think this was just. Yeah, I think it really was a racing incident because Vermeer just lost it. But yeah, it's really unfortunate because we're now. We, well, we see four people because Matrix, he has got to make another stop. So we really have three people now fighting for the win. Does... Um, but Ricky is struggling to get past though. Does Mitch have any penalties? Um, that's a good question. I will have a look for you. I think he has. Uh, one penalty. Yeah, he is on a penalty and one warning at the moment. Okay. Ricky is on a penalty and oh, one warning as well. Oh, we got a change oh, with a lead. Oh, for it. He goes a bit deep. MP's going to try and get the switch back, but MP will have that inside line. And, you know, Ricky will try and squeeze him wide, but MP is there. Danny's... Oh, they almost make contact. Oh, that's so close. And again, MP doesn't get... Ricky doesn't get the best line, but Ricky retakes the lead of the United States Grand Prix. Big, big movement in and the MP field. Gets another three MP seconds. picks up his second penalty, so let's see. He's got, yeah, two. Oh, I was looking at Ricky. He's got oh, three penalties right now. So he's on nine seconds. Um, that's that's really really big factor in this race. Um, but Robert is in the chat. He says Matrix is loving this, and indeed he is because we got now IMAX out of reach sort of Vermeer 
Um, so they both behind Matrix, uh, really, as Matrix is gonna go for the soft tire, yeah. which is a good strategy. And he is in P11 with P9, maybe even P8 inside with Wise Boy, maybe even P7. So Matrix uh, uh, is gonna I, take I, some I, points. Uh, I, I, think he, I think he could get up to P5. I think he could, because they're all so close together. Um, if I go on to the leader, so Matrix is 19 seconds behind the race leader. Uh, P6 is only eight seconds down the road. So I can definitely see, I can definitely see uh, Matrix of his pace being able to get to P6, I think, personally. Yeah, and if MP and uh, Mitch, if they both get past Ricky, then Ricky will take a P3 and Matrix will get a P5. And then the championship is all back up again. If it stays like this, or if Matrix just gets a P8 and Ricky takes the win, that's just almost championship done, in my yeah. opinion. Unless Ricky has got a race like Matrix is having at the moment. Uh, <coughs> sorry, you never know. But <laughs> yeah, if it stays like that, um, I think Ricky takes the championship here at America. Very close. Yeah, Ricky's not gonna be able to get away with it. And Mitch is right there as well. Waiting to pounce on any errors made from the top two. Oh, MP runs a oh. bit deep. And that's Matrix because Fallen made a pit stop and he already got past many Rollboy Sophie, so ah. that's Matrix already up to P8. Um, yeah, he's really closing up. And uh, MP is close again. Ricky runs a bit deep. That'll give him a bit better run. But he's defending. He knows he has to defend. I think he has just enough of a gap here. Oh, I would have gone for that. But he chooses not to. If I was MP, I would just save your ass at the moment. Save your ass, save your tires, and just burn it all on the second to the last uh, lap. Yeah. Because if you get past Ricky on lap 27, you can use all your ERS and few to stay in front of Ricky on the last lap. Yeah. Compared to make the overtake on the last lap, because Ricky can do the same on the last lap. Yeah. And um, that could really be a big factor as well. And if Ricky really Ricky needs to defend every single lap as oh, he stays in front, this could be so a good he chance won't here. have time to save ERS. And but I look at MP. He's in ERS mode three now. He's back down to ERS mode 1, he's just using too much ERS. Yeah. If he just saves a lot more ERS, it will be much easier for him to get past because ERS, if you're on 35% like he is right now, the power isn't as big and is it as effective as it is on like 70% as he picks yeah. up another penalty. Um, yeah, he really is not playing the right game at the moment. He's really struggling to get his tactics right and at the moment Ricky is just Casually driving a front. This is MP's downfall. It's been since last season. He gets too many penalties. He, he's a good, he's a quick driver. He just gets way too many penalties. Uh, and ultimately, it doesn't matter then what pace you are. It's irrelevant pace because you're costing yourself 12 seconds, which means at this rate, he will finish down in P7. If it stays as it is, he's going to be around P6, P7. Um, yeah, and, you know. and Matrix is maybe going to get past him as well with all those penalties. I don't know uh, if Matrix has got any penalties, but he's flying at the moment. Someone says it in the chat. Uh, yeah, it's Robert. He says Matrix is flying at the moment, and he is. Uh, Matrix is on two warnings. So, yeah, at the moment, Matrix is doing a really good job, and that this is the definition of damage limitation at the moment, what Matrix is doing around here. Absolutely. Uh, he's coming up to YZ Boy who's also on a similar age soft, so it's going to be a little bit trickier for him to pass YZ Boy. But he is the faster driver. And yeah, they... And Mitch, he is looking to get past MP, sorry. Um, he's in fourth ERS mode now. Yeah, now back up to zero. But yeah, he really wants to get past MP because he knows he's quicker. Um, at this stage of the race, we know Mitch is quicker on the harder tire. 
Um, and really this is the moment for Mage to get past. Otherwise he will probably be stuck for the rest of the race if he not making a move as we have a battle for p4 as well with Arbar and Juventus and Matrix closed up to Wise Boy who's really close to Dan so p6 definitely on the cards maybe even a p4 for Matrix yeah yeah that's it and the top three are only up the road he's not going to be able to catch the top three but those soft tires really do give you a massive advantage in the first few first six seven laps of their life Matrix is getting past Wise Boy. Wise Boy just gives up, which is a smart move from him. And that's Matrix up to P7, and he's got Dan in front of him, who's doing a really solid job with his injury. So uh, fair play to him for keeping it up into P6. But yeah, Matrix is gonna fly past him uh, at this yeah. stage. Matrix's pace on that soft. You just see it in that final sector. The soft tire is just so much quicker, and. Oh, it's uh, for Matrix. He just has to be careful not to lose the back end or hit the back off the Alpha. But he's uh, probably gonna get past now. Just burn everything you got. I just outbreak then. Who's not putting up a fight? Nope, he isn't. And that's Matrix up to P6. Good move from Matrix. Then could have played. A little bit of team play right here, just to hold off Matrix as long as possible to really help Mitch. Uh, because if Mitch picks up a little bit more penalties, that could hurt and drop him down behind Matrix as well. But yeah, there was really no point doing it. And as Matrix up to P6 and he's looking to get the P4 of Arbar, as the top three stay the same during this uh, battle for Matrix. And then... yeah, yeah. At the moment, Ricky's doing just enough to be able to stay ahead of Ricky, uh, sorry, of MP. MP closes down the straight, but it's just not enough. And for Mitch, it's frustrating because he, and this thing is such a tricky track to overtake on. Um, MP has started to save ERS a bit more and Ricky's now having to defend. Ricky, I think, is struggling in the corner sections. I think he's struggling with those grip, with the grip of the tyres. And MP and Mitch are just going to give him more and more issues here. Yeah, Ricky is hurting his tires a little bit more, of course, because he really needs to focus on his exits. So that's going to hurt his rear tires. And he pitted a lap earlier uh, compared yeah. to MP. So that makes a difference as well. Um, and with Ricky on 30% ERS and MP on 50% ERS, uh, that makes a difference in straight line speed as well. So this is the moment for MP to save a little bit more ERS and It's time for him to think about a move and maybe for Mitch as well But just like I said P3 at this point of the race is the worst position to be in Because you really need to rely on the person in front of you to make a move on P1 And MP is lost it as an untidy first sector Mitch is right up on the back of him but Mitch doesn't get the best of final corners there on that section. Let's see. MP gets a good exit, but it's not good enough compared to Ricky. Just pulling away it until the sort of DRS board and then uh, MP is gaining. Uh, but he's just not close enough. Can save the rest though. He needs to find a way to get past Ricky because it's definitely not gonna work the way he's doing right now. By the way, I just had a thought. Matrix is only 8 seconds behind the race leaders. He has no penalties. So if he's able to get past Arbar and Juventus and get within 3 seconds by the end of this race, Matrix could actually win this race. <laughs> if he wins this, that's gonna be drive of the season. Well, if these guys battle... Uh, at the moment, the gap is Matrix is at, is at P6. He's eight seconds behind our race leader, Ricky, at the moment. And Ricky's defending. We've got three laps to go now. No, four laps to go, rather. Four laps to go this time by. And Ricky, oh, he's all over the place. He's got a really poor exit. Those tyres. And P, oh, Matrix is going to go for a move on Arbar. And that's Matrix up to P5 and he's looking really, really good at the moment. And he's really close to Juventus as well, so he's probably going to get past on the big DRS straight. Um, oh, 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 this is really a good thought from you, yeah. 
He, he's he's already taken eight tenths out of Ricky. Uh, I think I think if he can once he passes Juventus, I think it's game on for the victory. Because he only has to take four more seconds out as long as he hasn't got any doesn't get any penalties. As Ooh, long as he doesn't have any well. penalties. So here we go. Meanwhile, MP, MP is closing. He's gonna go for it. Down oh, the inside! Oh, Ricky, and that's it, shut the door. And that is the race lead, and that helps Matrix's cause again as Matrix goes past the McLaren. He's only six and a half seconds behind the race leader now. Three and a half seconds six to seconds. catch. It's six yeah. seconds. <laughs> He's only six seconds behind the race leader. We've got three no and a half way. laps to go. Can he take three and a half laps out of, well, Ricky essentially is struggling. Ricky's got no grip. MP has already pulled yeah. out. And that is really the battle for the league because MP has got too many penalties. MP got too many penalties and Matrix is closing in a second oh, a lap. If Matrix wins no this race, way. if he wins this race, is that yellow in sector three? But it's none that of is. those guys. Oh, it's Crowen! Crowen lost it. Into the first top of corner, Faramir. Oh my days, it's Faramir and Crowen again. They just, <laughs> Crowen just went, oh, Faramir went completely goes through Crowen. But okay, fair enough. It's not important right now. Which is important is the battle for the lead, and Ricky is struggling indeed. And Matrix is just four seconds away from this battle, and he put off a mad thing. And he's still coloring it away. It's five. You can see them, and he made a pit stop. No way. No yeah. way. Those softs will start to struggle a little bit more. So it is going to be harder for him to catch up. He's 5.4 seconds behind the leader um, MP. But he, in this final sector is where he should be able to make a bit more time. With that little bit extra grip he's got. Got a bit of wave. Why is he boy here? And then, then he's going for the switch back. Make me happy round the outside of Max Verstappen corner. Well, no, there's no way we have Boy on fresher tires. Although the Souls won't be feeling that great. He's got a better grip. And Max was almost within three seconds. Yeah, um, Max. And that should allow him to pick up one more warning and take the penalty and still finish in front of these guys. Matrix is not really, I think the gap is all limited now. He's not really catching them up anymore. Uh, the gap has stayed, the last few sectors stayed at around five seconds to the race leader MP. And, Twi and Ricky is half a second behind. So really what you want to see is, essentially, he's just one second out of that. He just needs one second. Mitch is right up behind Ricky. Those two battling would help. Oh, look at Ricky this, Mitch. Ricky too far away from MP, I think. Yeah, unfortunately, the DRS is helping Ricky from Mitch. Matrix just isn't catching up anymore. Matrix isn't going to quite get it unless one of these... Well, if one of these guys gets another penalty as Mitch locks up a break, that's not going to help his cause. What, whoa, what Matrix now needs is these guys to battle it hard. On the last lap. Yeah, as we're coming towards it. Matrix agonizingly just a second, 1.2 seconds away. Ricky, though, doesn't get a great set corner there. Ricky lost a lot of time. He's almost out of DRS. Mitch is going to have a great chance here. But fortunately for Ricky, he just has enough DRS. But it's the final lap. Will, will Mitch make a move? No, he doesn't. Oh, you broke really late. Oh my god. It's so close now. Matrix just needs to gain a second. As MP, MP I think. He's holding on. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, yeah. It's really a battle Ricky's, between. Ricky's just trying to get Ricky. out of DRS. Because they could play. This could be massive as well. Because if Ricky. Um, finishes behind Mitch 
um, Matrix will extend the championship lead. Or no, he will not extend. Yeah, he will extend it by a few more points. Uh, but yeah, that can hurt Ricky a lot if Mitch gets past. But Mitch is too far away, and MP is holding on. So I think it stays like this. I don't see oh, Ricky, Ricky making any more Ricky moves. Broke it. Ricky locked a break up there. Sorry, that'll cost him a bit of time. Those tires have just got no energy left. Is he going to defend? Yes, he defends the line as well. Oh, he ran wide. He's run wide. This is going to help Matrix again. Massively. This is going to help Matrix massively. He's only two tenths off the win. Here we go then. So MP is going to come across the line. Oh, it's so close here. Here goes. So MP's going to cross the line first officially. Then it's Ricky. And Ricky, Matrix, be here comes Matrix. Matrix. Matrix does it. <laughs> he does it. He Unreal. Wins. Unreal. No way. What no a win. Way. What a win from Matrix. Ah, oh, he's going to be incredible. Ah, oh, mamma mia. Matrix takes the win. A tenth ahead of Ricky. In the end, Ricky locking up that rear in that last sector costs him the victory and instead of it being it's a 10 point swing oh it's sorry it's a um it's more than a 10 point swing it's a 12 point swing because instead of pulling away by seven 14 point swing sorry instead of seven points gained it's uh for well, seven uh, seven points pulled away it's seven points gained for matrix crucially for him what a result for him. Mitch gets P3, R bar P4, MP in the end finishes fifth. With those penalties, he'll rue that. Um, Dan in sixth, Juventus seventh, Sophie eighth, Robin in ninth. But unreal, unreal scenes. Oh my days. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say anymore. This is the best ending <laughs> of a race I've ever seen in my life. Oh, what Ricky, was going on? Ricky must have thought he won it there for a split second. But fair play to Mitch not getting any... <laughs> any sorry, Mitch. Uh, to, uh, to Matrix not getting any penalties. Uh, awesome two-stop strategy. That worked. He managed to make it work, and he, he lost so many places at the beginning. That just shows you how much pace Matrix had today. Oh, man. <laughs> 133.7. Yeah. Admittedly, it. with softs, but well, yeah. I'm done. That's I'm driver done. of the this day. This the end of Tier 2. This is the end of Tier 2. It, it won't get any better. It won't. <laughs> I think, I uh, know, we still got three races. I think it still can. <laughs> Th man, this, ch oh man, this championship oh man. is on. It is on. <laughs> so, fastest lap. And he oh. gets fastest lap as well. He gets that fastest lap That's point. That's an extra point. That's crucial yeah. as well. Yeah. So, he gained eight points on Ricky with that result. Game on. But in the end, because of that. Oh man, I'm gonna invite them to the commentary box because this is ridiculous. I've never seen anything. Ricky and Mitch. Oh man. If people want to check out any questions to these guys, which I can imagine, um, just ask them and I will throw them in as well. Oh, that, man. that tenth yeah. of a second, we don't that, even tenth have of, to... that tenth of a second could be crucial because that is literally a 15 point swing. You know, if Ricky won, okay, Mitch would have got fastest lap still, so it would have only been six points, but to get eight points instead, uh, by that crucial tenth of a second. That, that could make the difference with three races to go. Unreal. Unreal. It really was unreal. Like, yeah, this is just mental. We don't even have to think about who's going to be driver of the day. Um, <laughs> that's 100% clear, but yeah, this is 
just like I said, I'm gonna say it for the fifth time. I've never seen anything like this in my in my life. <laughs> I've I've seen some great endings of football matches, races, like, but this is just something else. Ridiculous stuff. Um, let's see all of the guys join. Make sure your audio is on allowed to be shared because we want to hear every single thing of you guys race. This was a crazy one. So we're gonna start with Mitch, um, your home Grand Prix, you did a good job on the quali, V3 if I'm not mistaken, um, you had a quite disappointing start I would say with James Nia, your P3 rival, um, you, you guys just switched places, you went down to P6, you went up to P3, what happened at the beginning of the start? Uh, I just spun the tires too much off the starting, and by the time I had it ripped off I already got passed by a ninja and I believe MP at that time yeah and by IMAX as well because you were down to P6 yeah. uh, but after that you made your way through up to the field um, you were in P5 for a very long time but then Vermeer and IMAX they collided in front of you what happened there could you see anything uh, it looked like uh, IMAX went for a dive down the inside into the hairpin and uh, Baramir was already mid corner, and IMAX ran into the side of him. At least that's what it looked like from my point of view. Okay, yeah, so you could easily take P3 there. It was just two positions gained for literally nothing. Um, but after that, you were just stuck behind MP and Ricky, and you probably couldn't do anything, did you? No, there's nothing I could do. Um, my weakest point of the track's that hairpin down the long street, so I'd lose a little bit of time there, anyways. Um, but the one thing I noticed, even if I was right up underneath somebody's rear wing, I, if they had DRS, I couldn't get by. Yeah, and that was what we were saying as well. Really tricky and one of the worst positions to be in there in the P3. Um, unfortunately, I know you're really good on your penalties, but you picked up uh, one too much, um, which gave you P3. But I can imagine with extending the lead compared to Ginny as well, that you're happy with your P3 on your own race. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it. It's unlike me to get a penalty, but this track kind of it kind of forces you to try to f get out from behind that dirty air, and that's what I was doing through the S's. And unfortunately, the one time I, a couple times I did it, I dropped a tire and get a warning for it. So yeah, the dirty air is not fun, especially through the S's. And then the last sector, it's horrendous. It's really worse. Yeah, but congratulations, on free man. Really good job. Thank you. And coming up to what I did not imagine saying, but P P2 for Ricky. Um, man, oh man, what a race you were having. Uh, P1 in quality, probably didn't expect that, but Matrix couldn't put in his final lap. Um, good quality from you, good race overall, um, but picking up too many penalties. How do you feel, mate? Tell us about it. Um, yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's yeah, it's really hard. Picked up just only three seconds of penalties, but it was a second or at least two tenths too much to take the victory. Um after you saw Matrix spun and all the way down the field you were expecting probably an easy race win or at least to gain some points on Matrix. Um yeah, how are you feeling about that? What were you thinking when you saw him spawn? Yeah, of course, you you know, I'm thinking massive advantage here, but just shows the lads the immense pace advantage. The fact that he spun, did a two stop and still won the race. Um, me, me, the MP and Mitch were holding up each other so much that that kind of helped him. Uh, but yeah, for sure, if he was up front, we would have seen him long, long gone. Maybe 20 seconds win. But yeah, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. It fun race. Um, I really lacked pace to be honest. Yeah, we saw because you um, were really good at keeping up with MP. But as soon as you had to, yeah, make your own pace, um, everyone was just getting ready to overtake you again. So it was really strange. But yeah, you hold on. Um, yeah, P2 for you. You're probably not happy about it. But yeah, it's just. 
a case for you to do better at Brazil, Abu Dhabi and Belgium, I would say. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I think for sure, obviously, I didn't want it to win, but, you know, you have to give some, you know, give a lot of credit to Matrix for sticking in there, getting his head down and he nailed it. Uh, it's only a few points lost, you know, the battle's still on, so let's bring it on. Let's bring it on. Really good last word from Ricky. Congratulations on your P2, as I could say it like that. Really well done. So, Matrix, P1 for you. Um, probably didn't expect it when you got spun by Ginjania. What was going through your mind when you got spun? Uh, I don't know. I'm so happy. I feel so happy in this whole two season I've been. I don't know. It just. I knew I can make good results like the top six maybe but uh i noticed like after first thing that uh, i was expecting ricky is going to be alone and flying but uh, he was a little bit struggling i think and there was like seven, seven car group uh, front of me so that was the first like uh, feeling that there might be something here so so i just go fast and fast and fast and uh then I see in my mouth like six laps to go that I can see this uh, one, two, three guys. And uh, and I, at some point I know that Mitch probably has three seconds, but I have no idea what Ricky have or somebody somebody have. I believe somebody have so like six again, but uh, I don't know. Like I'm very happy. Like I didn't expect that. Like one tenth I win, so it's... Uh, something like i never ex expected yeah uh, that was good race yeah it was it really was um yeah as soon as you went onto the soft tire um did you expect to close up that much or would you, would you just be happy with a p6 or a p5 or did you know you were gonna catch them well I'm glad that I make uh, before race. I did uh, practice race when I tried to start, and uh, it worked, of course. But uh, yeah, uh, I knew I can catch them, but uh, it's just uh, like every, like I, every turn, every corner, every turn. So like I just have to push and push, and uh, like I, yeah, I, I don't know. I have to say that it was. Funnest race I have ever been. But uh, yeah, I, I believe it that maybe after the P, uh, last corner, that maybe I be P2, but uh, that I was P1, it was uh, just amazing. Yeah, it really was, man. Just an incredible drive. I've not seen anything in my life like this in league racing. Really, really solid job. Just crazy race. Really well done. Yeah, thank you. So, that rounds up this USA Grand Prix. Thank you guys on the podium for joining the commentary box with us. Um, thank you, Lewis, for joining the commentary box with me again. It was a Always a great one, Thomas. Uh, yeah, well done, everyone, and uh, see you next week for Brazil. Yeah, definitely. On for Brazil, probably. The weather, so we're kind of looking forward for that. Um, yeah, make sure you tune in for tomorrow as well. Hopefully I can do a better job than last week. <laughs> yeah, so tune in for tomorrow, but especially tune in next week as this battle is going to continue on for more and more and more. So yeah, thank you for tuning in today and I hope to see you guys back next week. Bye.